It's part three of our conversation with Joey Mullen of Badfinger. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Do you still have any of your guitars from back then now? Uh, only, I had a, when I joined back then, I had a 1963 Firebird 5, and I still have that, yeah. That's, that's the only one. But, well, you know, we, we lost all the money uh, that we made in those days. The managers took it, and uh, we ended up having to sell all the guitars and equipment that we had uh, simply to live, you know? I, uh... Even after selling everything and paying my bills and stuff, I had seven hundred dollars when Bad Finger broke up. <laughs> so that's just the way it is. That's just the way. It, that's the way it was for me anyway. That was the bad side. The other side of it was all those great things we toured consistently. We we did about one hundred and twenty, one hundred and fifty gigs a year. Um, we played all the great places. Went round the world a few times. Uh, Took a couple of splendid vacations, and uh, you know we all we all got married, and we all had families. Uh, so I think we were all pretty happy on the whole with it. Uh, and that was the good side. That was the good side of it, you know. There's an old radio guy in uh, is a good friend of mine, Tom Jeffries, out of Vancouver. Uh, he asked, uh, "Did you use the strat that George gave you on uh, Baby Blue?" No, I didn't. I used the, uh, and it wasn't a strat. George gave us a. Uh, an SG standard. Uh, it, it was the one he played on, I think, Rain, uh, or Paperback Writer, maybe. Uh, it was that SG he gave it to the band. Uh, Pete and I looked at it. Um, but anyway, uh, so no, that's the answer to the question. I used, and you can tell him this, I used the 1957 Gibson TV model. Uh, it's a nice Paul model, yeah, so I used that, yeah. On the album, you've got songs like Better Tomorrow and Heaven. These are really kind of uplifting. Uh, uh, can you tell me a, a few things about some of the songs on the album? Like like uh, Better Tomorrow, for instance. What about that one? Uh, uh, Better Tomorrow came out of the, uh, the uh, terrorist experience um, that, we, that we all went through. Uh, you know, 10 years ago, 12 years ago, um, uh, originally, uh, it, was an, it was an idea called uh, Ship to Mars. Um, and uh, I, I, I'm glad that it was one of the ones that Mark picked. I, I, I always liked the songs. You know, I always liked, liked that song. Um, and so I'm, I'm just glad it's on there. And I'm, 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 you know what? You're the second. Uh, I'm doing some interviews today. You're the second one where we started out talking about uh, this time. And. Uh, uh, I mean, better tomorrow, uh, which surprises me because I don't. It's not the most commercial song on the record, but uh, that's what that's what it was about. I thought we'd be a lot better off instead stand, of sending off a, a young man or a young woman off to war uh, and telling them they got to do their part. And the same, the other side is doing the same thing. They're sending their young men and women off to war and, and telling them it's time to die. And uh, I just think that was a bit silly, and we'd be a lot better off if, if they could all sit down and build themselves a ship to Mars, you know, and do, do something destructive rather than destructive. Um, and that's that's how it is. And the Mark uh, brought the uh, back of tomorrow into, into the song, uh, Mark's and uh, it worked out lovely. I'm glad it makes sense to you. Mm-hmm. 